Good morning. How are you? <clears throat> this is Marianne Grant, Life in Harmony Podcast. Today is the first day of your life. It's important. <clears throat> what are you going to do with it? Remember, I talked about cleaning up any of that residue you left behind yesterday, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually. I suggest you clean that up. You're the one that made that mess, and you're the only one that can make it better if you're down and out and depressed. I suggest you look in the mirror and decide what you're going to do about it. I'm going to go over the list of all the things that control us. Sarcasm. Sarcasm is anger, emotions, bad attitude, enabling, people-pleasing, not able to say no, drugs, alcohol, pills, relationships, sex, lust, love, anger, rage, porn, controlling everybody around you but yourself, distractions everywhere, then you have nothing but excuses, gambling, work, working out, food addiction, binge TV, phone, podcast, news, caffeine, surgeries, pain. Being in a relationship with a man or a woman, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, or sexually abusing one another. And you may want to add to the list. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Today, <clears throat> I want to talk about denial, the power of denial. That's all I do. <clears throat> I do courses for attorneys, and they say, um, one of the questions is, um, how do you know you're in denial? And, um, and they say, uh, you come home and you say, hi, honey, how was your day? And you leave out that affair you had at lunchtime, or those martinis you drank at lunchtime, or the half a cake you ate at lunchtime, or uh, not getting anything done and binge TV all day at lunchtime. Um, that's how you know you're in denial, when you can't say what you did out loud. Um, denial comes in so many different forms. Stories you tell yourself to justify what you're doing, as you know what you're doing is unethical and you're hurting people around you. Denial is making somebody else wrong so you don't get into action and do the proper action for yourself. Denial is blaming everybody around you for your unhappiness. Denial comes in so many different forms um, that your parents are responsible, your, you know, your boss is responsible, the government's responsible. No, you're responsible. No one's going to do it for you. See, this is where the denial comes in. Everybody promises all these wonderful things to everybody to either get laid or get what they want or to get more money or to manipulate. It's all a game. But when you start taking charge of your life and looking in the mirror and looking at your denial and why your life isn't working. So today, I want you to write down all the things that are not working for you and start coming up with a game plan, one thing at a time, of how you can make your life better. So make that list and start with the hardest one first. Denial's hard. It's a tough one. You're so used to living this certain life all your life, thought you had it going on, thought you were the king or the queen of your life, and you realize everything around you is falling apart, and you've been lying to yourself. And it's very easy to do. That's why I talk about finding loving, supportive people that are going to give you constructive criticism. Remember balance, not too much of anything, our kids, our partner, our play, our work. When we stay balanced, it's life in harmony. When we abuse ourselves, everyone we love is infected by it. You cheat yourself and everyone around you. The level of love and respect that you give yourself, that is the level of love and respect you will get in return. The goal for all of us truly is life in harmony. Our thinking can make or break us. That is why we have to check our thinking and attitude all day long. It has to be as natural as going to the bathroom or else your head gets backed up. Remember, <clears throat> if you have an attitude, remember be attitude. Being in the highest possible state of happiness, good humor, and contentment with the way things are. This, my friend, is the greatest gift you can give yourself. Remember, behind every breakdown, there's a breakthrough around the corner. People say, I want to help be a part of taking care of the world. Here's the good news. If you truly take care of yourself all day and be a living example, we all have gifts. We all have work to do. That is the true meaning of taking care of the world. No exceptions. The answers lie in each and every one of us. 
hey, you manipulators, smooth talkers, narcissism, your words mean nothing, and your actions say everything. I'm going to read a beautiful saying from Michael Singer. Spirituality. Spirituality begins when you decide you will never stop trying. Spirituality is the commitment to go beyond no matter what it takes. It's an infinite journey based upon going beyond yourself every minute of every day for the rest of your life. If you're truly going beyond, you're always at your limits. You're never back in the comfort zone. A spiritual being feels as though they're always against the edge and they're constantly being pushed through it. One should view their spiritual work as learning to live life without stress, problems, fear, or melodrama. This path of using life to evolve, spirituality is truly the highest path. Trust the process. The spiritual journey is one of constant transformation. To grow, you must give up the struggle to remain the same and learn to embrace change. Discipline is freedom. The undisciplined mind is like an elephant. If left to blunder out of control, it will wreak havoc. Confront the difficult while it's still easy. Accomplish the great tasks by a series of small acts. You must go through the darkest night in order to get to the infinite light. What we call darkness is really the blockage of light. Eventually you realize it cannot actually hurt you to go beyond your psychological limits. You are willing to just stand at the edge and keep walking. You will go beyond. You used to pull back. It's okay to get uncomfortable. Now you relax and go past that point. Go beyond where you were a minute ago by handling what's happening now. Imagine the peace that you could experience if you are constantly creating and defending your false self. Michael Singer. Okay, I'm going to read a little part of my book. <clears throat> All right, we're in the workbook section, Prelude, page 92. This is the time to be honest with yourself. The workbook section provides you an activity sampling. The questions are designed to help you understand how you perceive your current life situations. Your responses will allow you to make the changes you have always wanted in your life but did not have the information or knowledge in how to do it. You know, I love my workshops. This work section, I'm going to be reading a little bit of it each day. And this is all about um, truly creating your new life and how you visualize it, how you see it, how you perceive it, um, what you want for you. And you could truly make it all happen if you set up realistic goals. So what I want you to do today is write down how you want to get up in the morning, how you want to do your day, um, the positive control, the negative control, and look at those things and write down um, what it looks like. Um, when you come home from work, it could be taking a nap while, the, while your children go in another room and um, wrestle with one another or just learning how to have to make the family step up and do more in the house. Everybody do their part. See, the reason why so many relationships don't work and life doesn't work for so many people, this people pleasing and enabling destroys one person, doesn't allow another person to grow up. We do so much damage by people pleasing and enabling and doing other people's work. So when you write your whole day, write it down to where you're delegating and you're getting help and you're asking people for help. And maybe you no longer want to do the landscaping. You could pay somebody else to do the landscaping because you want that time for yourself. Um, maybe you want to have a cleaning lady come in once a month so you can have that time to go to the park with your children. Um, maybe, I mean, these are all the things I did in my own life. I remember years ago having somebody come in <clears throat> once a month to do my cleaning. I'm very fastidious. I keep a beautiful home. But you know, that makes such a difference, knowing um, I have that help and being able to do things that I love to do. And taking time out, my whole day consists of a little bit of work, a little bit of play, a little bit of quiet time, um, a little bit of order in the home. And I don't resent anything I do anymore. I love everything I do. And there's always going to be tasks. That's why I say do two things a day you don't want to do. There's always going to be tasks that you absolutely hate, that you have to do to have a successful day. But once you do those, boy, the rest of the day is going to be great. Remember, work on one thing at a time. Eventually, it will be a way of life. Don't do too much of anything. Balance is most important. 
I am clean and clear of all diseases and negative thoughts, what's controlling you. I accept today where I am powerless, I have control, where I have choices. I will reach out for help and use my tools today. I accept today and understand the only person I can change or regulate is myself. I will take time to hug and kiss the loved ones around me. I will show my partner today how much he or she's appreciated, needed, and loved. I will speak up for myself today, be true to ourselves. The answers lie in each and every one of us. Everything we do is a practice and a discipline to master what we want. I will take charge of my life today and realize that I'm in charge of all my decisions. I will know when it's time to bow out and let go and trust the process. I will set realistic goals for myself. I will get seven to eight hours of sleep tonight. I will set healthy boundaries around myself today. I will not allow anybody to speak to me with disrespect. I will make a conscious effort to eat healthy meals. I will take my vitamins, food supplements today. I will drink six to eight glasses of water today. I will be good to myself today. Whoever can see through all fear will always be safe. I will talk with someone I trust and respect and be honest with them. Accountability is key. We cannot do it alone. We always lie to ourselves. I will trust and reach out to my higher power today. I will accept and say thank you for everything that happens to me today, good or bad. I will not do anything to cause harm to myself or others today. I am willing to change today. I will exercise today. I will pray for the well-being of myself and others today. I will write a list of all the things I want in a partner. If I become it, I will attract it. Discipline is freedom. Do two things a day that you don't want to do to have a successful day. My two things are always getting up early, doing my podcast, and working out and keeping my food clean, and the rest will follow. We can all heal together one day at a time. It is a decision from your head to your heart. You can reach me at createyourspirit at gmail.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my books and workshops. If you want to learn about my services, lifeinharmonyonline.com. Leave your number. I'll go over my services with you. And remember, I'm doing the podcast on Monday through Friday. Hit that colorful round button that says L. Please start with podcast number one, number two, number three. There's order into receiving all this information. Do it for 30 days and watch how your life changes. And if you see results, do it for another 30 days. It's so important we get our head right in the morning. And remember, I want you to have a peachy day today. And thank you for listening.